So guys, finally we have got the official uh, Android Oreo update for the Samsung Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus devices. It is global and it should be coming to your device very soon. Just go to the software section and check for update. You should be getting the new update. So and couple of weeks before when the first time Oreo update rolled out, I have shown you almost all the possible best features of the Samsung Gal Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus. So almost all the features are still same and applicable to this uh, official update. Still, I'm going to show you guys again all the new features thing. So I just compared uh, all of the features. So there are only small tweaks or some small minor features happen to this official update, even though those are not very major. So guys, I'm just trying to show you all the major features. Maybe I have missed some small feature. If there are too many features, I will make definitely an update video. And also we are going to do a performance check for the Samsung Galaxy S8. Now it is running Oreo. Definitely Oreo brings a lot of background memory management optimization, all the cool stuff. So I'm going to take this time the Pixels 2 XL to compare to that. You know, both are having almost good resolution, same processor, same amount of RAM. Let's take a look and see how Samsung Galaxy S8 is still performing in this 2018 with the Galaxy S8 Oreo update. So let's go start and do all this thing and check out all the new features in Samsung Galaxy S8 Oreo update. All right, guys, so my device has been updated. You will get this broad message when you got a device updated. Everything is just super smooth now. So you have got the latest first February security patch, well, not the uh, comparable to the Pixel, which is on the fifth. So that's OK. I hope you shouldn't mind that. On the main settings page, once you go inside this on the right top, you will see you can add your account picture. Uh, it is OK, not too much bigger, but it's good to have that as you can organize yourself. You can directly go from here, you can see all the Samsung account information. Just a quick shortcut way, very, very nice movement. The about phone section has been slightly risen. I'm just hiding my way. You can now uh, go and directly see your IMI numbers details on that too, which is actually more good instead of just typing on the keys, so which is really nice to see that thing. So Samsung phones do allow you know to search inside the settings like all the manufacturer. So once you start doing any searching here, pretty much. I'm just showing you here. This is a fresh device, so there is nothing as of now. I'm just going to search here. So you can easily on the later on, you can see at what time you have searched what information. So it will show you date also and time also. As of now, just showing you time because just a recent search. So keep on adding your search history. It will just show everything else and you can clear everything if you don't want to show whatever you searched for. Android Oreo also, uh, you know, has a uh, nice app shortcuts. So Samsung, they just modified it too much because they have to add their own touch page option. So it looks tiny. I hope in S8 Plus it should be looking much better, but not all the application have this option. I'm too surprised to see that why settings doesn't have this option. Camera doesn't have this option, which should be there because, you know, cameras like directly take selfies, go to the batteries option directly, it should be there. So hopefully uh, it may come in the future. But anyway, guys, so you can see now there is a colorful folder here. You can add your own custom colors. This is red, this is green. It looks like an icon, but anyway, it's okay. You can add a fixed predefined color or you can add your own custom color. So just by outside, it, you can make it, you know, look different from other. On the gallery, there's options to hide or unhide. Once you go, you can see there's hide or unhide album. And not all the folders you can hide. I guess by default, the system default folders, you cannot hide it. The one you have created by yourself, you can easily hide it. So to unhide it again, just click the option. It will show you just uncheck it, click apply. Boom, you got your folder back. That's a nice folder. Now it, your phone supports dual messenger. Not all applications are supported. It just supports possible. I have Instagram installed. It's not showing me. It's just uh, Facebook and WhatsApp. Twitter is also you cannot create it. So there is a option here. It shows some different sign like it's a dual messenger. And now you can easily disable it from here. Go back to the app drawer. Your dual messenger is gone. Pretty nice and clean movement. Galaxy Note 8 came with the app pair also, uh, the launch. Now you can also have on S8, S8 Plus. I've already created them, just showing you how you can do that. Just go to the app edge page. There you can see you can easily create any application. I have just selected Twitter, YouTube, which is mostly common. So on S8 Plus, it should be looking more beautiful. So you can directly add two applications side by side in multi window. With some options, you can just rearrange, you know, which uh, one you want to in a bigger way or some slight nice customization but it's great actually you can launch two applications together now android audio supports the auto fill service so this is something like your password manager or like what you have seen on the browser but it is now expanded to the uh, you know so much level on the application levels too so samsung offers their own but i will recommend you guys to use google in case you search to any other device at least you can have your uh, google auto fill service back 
so if it is not available by default check other videos how to enable that i have already enabled that so that's how you should select it just showing an example i have saved a lot of credentials on instagram so once you go and try to log in instagram it will show you all the possible usernames that you have easily registered earlier in case you are new it will ask to save the password simply you can save it you don't need to remember the password again picture picture mode is very nice here so go inside the special access all the supported application will be shown here now just for information just for information uh, youtube red only supports picture picture mode and in india it is not working so you have to use chrome and make sure to use or play your video in the desktop mode right like this and just uh, you can see there is a bottom here button which actually ma maximize this window so view the video in the full screen mode just next to the hd option click there and after that just press your home button you should be able to play your video on the picture in picture mode so that's how you can play everywhere wherever you want to do whatever work you're doing it's just playing is nice in that way once you lock your screen it will just pause but it will be there on the same page so very nice thing and i'm telling you again youtube red only support that not the youtube you can use maps whatsapp duo so many applications were there just check whatever inside this is actually context awareness feature from the google so whatever text you are writing doing google will try to remember whatever things you are doing so i'm just writing something here and uh, it will just try to recognize whatever you are typing for example this is a genuine phone number so it shows me a contact and application shortcuts otherwise if it is simply a normal text it won't show you any related applications relevant application it just shows me a phone number now i can click to this directly on the phone shortcut i don't need to open phone dialer and paste it here that's what it's there for another example if you just written some email address it will show you email application so nice and shortcut way is try to understand what you're trying context awareness feature Google Play Protect also been added to the Android Oreo. It's a kind of anti-malware. It scans all the application, the background, whatever you have installed, like APKs and all the side stuff. You just try to scan it. So most likely, if any application is not good or you know something is taking a malicious information, copying something, Google will try to scan it. So some even though from I'm using Oreo from low, so long time. I haven't seen like I got any notification you got some unwanted application maybe in the future or maybe internally it has done something I was not able to figure that out so very good way try to enable it and scan it each day by itself edge lighting features also got improved a lot you can see some new colors option uh, you can add, adjust the transparency with also some new design uh, features also came so it is nice but try to use in less width otherwise it's gonna take a lot of batteries too as you guys know that Samsung phone doesn't uh, you know last complete day. so this is something bummer so you have to adjust with that and some of the option settings you can do that screen on and off lock screen also got uh, modified along with the clocks too so there are some new clocks added i cannot just figure that out everyone but yeah a couple of them are new once you guys use it you will come to know so amoled screen is okay but some major improvement happened to the lock screen you can have some new lock screen too along with that you can customize your own color which is very nice something i was hoping for the always on display too but it didn't came there so let's see in the future maybe on the android 9 it should come so anyway guys you can just customize your color and add new clocks whatever you want on the software update section earlier once you update your software you cannot see what's the change lock now there's a new last update information it will show you the date when the last update was installed also it will show you every detail which is great at least you know if the update is very major you can just go to this section and just try to read what's new in the android audio maybe in the future you can get everything whatever has changed here voice recorder application has been updated so for example in case you're recording something using voice recorder i'm sure you haven't done that but i used to you use it a lot so you can easily block your call in between the work so which is nice you cannot get disturbed because you're doing some important work like some voice over latest bluetooth codec also been supported to check that you have to enable the developer option go inside this developer option some things are new like double ec app tech so ljack possibly these were not here all the latest qualcomm supported with recorded are here now now you guys know that android oreo offers compacted notification uh, so all the shortcuts application icons will be on the very bottom you can easily see transition is very smooth it looks great and beautiful unlike the android newer which was very cluttered in a long way comparing with the pixel to xl as you can see everything is just super compacted and looks okay one thing I want to show you, Android Audio do offers a notification preview also, but somehow I'm not able to see that here. For example, Instagram, I'm not able to see like I got some notification here, but I can see on the quick panel, but here it is not visible. On the Twitter, I'm not able to see that here. 
I just don't understand why this thing is missing. It is so great feature. I don't need to just swipe down for a bigger phone. It's good. You can at least see which is the recent frequent contact, you know, person who has contacted you. Just nice thing. Samsung keyboard in case you're using got some couple of bunch of improvements to some new shortcuts improvement scheme. You can directly see some new option. And also once you go inside the settings, you have the GIF keyboard now available. You can easily uh, send and receive GIF. So I'm just going to try on the LO and it should work on all the application. You can easily send GIF to anyone. It's taking from Giphy.com and you can easily see it's got received on other phones too. Very nice thing. So good to have it. Otherwise, you can also have a high contrast keyboard. So which is something looks very pretty terrible here. But anyway, guys, you have a black theme of label. Something nice. Along with that, you got a new live messages features too, which is there in the note date, but somehow it is not working on the beta, not in the officials too. So let me know in case it is working for you or not. So those are the features, guys. Now let's try out some speed test and see which device is performing faster. So I'm just going to turn on both the devices together. So Oreo also brought some new improvement in terms of uh, launching too. For example, the Pixel, you can see it's launching super fast. So there is a difference of exactly 20 seconds in between the Galaxy S8 versus the Pixel 2 XL. But still it is booting very faster now. A quick speed test yet. I'm just showing you guys in a slightly faster way because I'm working on a new major speed test between four to five phones and together. Just showing you a quick preview here. The small application that is okay. Both phones, you know, this is Exynos variant. A good, uh, slightly faster than uh, Snapdragon. So uh, I will say that uh, so far smoothness is okay. Oreo with uh, S8 and S8 Plus should be working super great in case you have 6 gigabytes or that. Definitely it is much better now. But just trying to compare with the Pixel 2 XL, it is just slightly behind that, maybe a second behind, because obviously uh, Samsung has a huge you know, interface ex uh, experience update, lot of, uh, in, uh, you can say, animation. So it's slightly delayed, but it's okay. You are just slightly behind the Pixel 2 XL. And this is nine month old device. I haven't done any reset. I'm use, uh, using it as a heavy basis. So definitely you can see slight bit of lag there but it's launching is still faster some application it is faster like the pokemon go and here we have the last let's try out for dead trigger too so just slightly behind not too much so maybe i will do once a reset it should be working super great now because so many application caches in collected in the background now we have the last application that was second last this is last the x fall 8 so i don't think so this is just more than a second difference even the less than a second difference here we came it first on the x fold 8 so so far guys you will enjoy this update everything is super cool and smooth now so here it is this is your thing some browsing loading tests let's see that depends on network but i have just connected to lte on the both the same network so still so in some places samsung is faster compared to pixel so in twitter it loaded data faster let's say here over the youtube so it just varies so overall i will say it's pretty tied up i don't see much difference at all a millisecond difference is just casual it's okay and i have to yet test out the camera how fast the camera is working so far it is working good so yeah that's your account picture let's try out for the settings in the camera so still it is uh, i just don't know guys it is kind of slow but taking photos is faster compared to my pixel hdr is taking a little bit of time so it's still processing on pixel so that's something good on the samsung devices let's do some memory management test here so here it is guys i'm just going to do a little fast survey like i mentioned i'm just working on a detailed speed test small applications so mostly in both the phones they already the memory somehow they just got depressed because four gigabytes i believe is less and i'm just doing an extreme test here which should be in a, a rare case scenarios for the games none of the games i found in the memory Please guys, just try to explain me and tell me why it is happening. My Mi A1, which is Android 1 device, has a 4GB RAM, which contains all the applications in the memory. The same set of applications. Be sure to check out my old videos. I have some of the links in the description. But why these two phones are not keeping any games application in memory? Such a shame on these devices. These are flagship, but still they are just working like that only. I just don't know, maybe somebody can answer me. Next, we have some other small applications which are loaded. So pretty much they all got refreshed except for a 2 settings slightly faster or not too much faster on the pixel because it's just simplified and uh, missed to launch the camera so both phones hold the camera the memory there it is guys this is speed test a quick benchmarking results for you guys so n got a lot of improvements now they are showing 200k plus a score so close up score not too much difference seems good pixel is slightly faster here that's a good score you're getting that some geek benchmark test results too let's see 
I believe Exynos should be, uh, you know, working greater in this way. And uh, 6 to 8 for multi core score versus the 659 faster in case of Galaxy. So there it is, guys. This is a long video. Hope you guys did enjoy it. Took me a lot of effort to make it. I will talk to you guys very soon in the next video. Have a great day.